Nargis Habib treasures every conversation with her mother inside Afghanistan. She said that she stays up at night and cries, so she's absolutely worried. Um, and so am I. Both Nargis and her husband, Jawid, have family now trapped. Essentially, they're locked in a huge open-air prison the size of Texas. Less than a month ago, Nargis visited her mother. I got to put my head on her lap. We want them out, and now they're stuck there. Nargis's flight was uh, scheduled to leave on August 15th. You were supposed to leave the day that we saw those images at the airport, yep. people clinging on to yep. a U.S. Yeah. Air if Force. I, if I didn't get out earlier, that I would have been one of those people trying to get on the plane. Good afternoon. The Habibs watched the news with their two young daughters. If you were there right now with them, their lives would be upended as they know it. I think about it all the time. I know it's hard for your mind to go there, but what is your biggest fear? Having a young sister, we're terrified because they're just forcefully marrying off 14-year-olds, 16-year-olds to older Taliban soldiers. Nargis owns a rug manufacturing business inside Afghanistan. Most of her employees are women. It was a dream of hers built in the last two decades. It's sad to know that all those hopes and possibilities might be crushed. Four weeks ago, I was in Afghanistan. I was, I was just sitting with my cousins, female cousins. One of them wanted to become an architect. One of them wanted to become a doctor, and they were actually studying to do so. They don't know what's going to happen. The school is gone, education is gone, and dreams are gone. Jonathan Vigliotti, CBS News, San Marcos, California.